and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about a new bike that's out there it's let me get turned here it's by Sondors it's the Meta Beast now there are two bikes there's the Meta Beast and the Meta Beast X, which is a more powerful bike, even. And but we'll talk a little bit about the Meta Beast. So the Meta Beast is basically similar to, I would say, it's similar more to the Saron. So this is more like a a dirt bike as opposed to a regular e-bike this is like a dirt motorbike electric so this bike is up now for pre-order and there's limited reserve if you get in before or by april 11th now i'm recording this video on april the 4th 2023 it's going to go up tomorrow april 5th so you have six days in order to decide whether you want this bike or not at the reserve price and that is three thousand dollars and after the four after the 11th it's going to go to 4500 so i'm going to give you some of the specs that i know of on the bike i will leave a link in the descriptions for both this uh, both the uh, Meta Beast and the Meta Beast X. I'll leave uh, two links there, one for each bike, so you can go and look for yourself. But some of the specs on this bike are it's a six kilowatt motor, 72 volt. The battery is a 72 volt, 30 amp hour. They're listing the torque at 40 Newton meters. Now, as far as speed, top speed is, they're saying 50 miles per hour. It is a mid drive motor. The bike weighs uh, 123 pounds, so not too bad there. I do not know too many more specs on the bike. I don't know seat height. I don't know what controller they're using. You may want to go and check out their site. The bike uh, is a really cool looking bike if you're into that style of bike. It'd be a fun one to give a, a try on, that's for sure. Uh, Trying to think of what else do I remember on the bike. I think it comes in a few different colors, three different colors. I don't remember which ones. I believe black is one. That would be my choice. The Meta Beast. X is a more powerful bike that I don't know all the specs I'd have to go uh, check it out again but I do know top speed is 75 miles an hour on the uh, that's the top speed on the uh, Meta Beast X also uh, the msrp is going to be eight thousand dollars on that bike i don't know if there's a there may be as well a limited reserve on that bike as well but i don't know like i say i will leave a link in the descriptions and you can check it out the uh one thing about the bike though either bike i believe they're both the same on this shipping date is not going to be until october of 2023 
So if you do purchase this bike, you're not going to get to ride it this uh, summer, unfortunately. So that's one of the downsides. But I'll tell you, if you can get your hands on one of these for uh, $3,000, you're getting yourself, it sounds like a pretty good bike right there. Uh, but you have to wait. You have to be patient on it. That's the, the downside. But if you've got, I guess if you've got something else to ride in the meantime, I think that's a, that's a steal uh, of a bike for $3,000 for what $3,000 gets you these days. Uh, one thing I'd like to see on that bike a little better would be, uh, a little bigger would be the motor. It'd be nice to have a, or, or not the motor, but I should say the battery. Wouldn't it be nice to have at least a 50 amp hour battery on there? I'm sure that would up the price though. But uh, just, just the same though, having a mid-drive motor and a and a 72 uh, volt, 30 amp hour battery. And that's a, that's a six kilowatt peak motor. So that's, uh, to me, that's a steal uh, at $3,000. Mm. Now, assuming you get it in October, like they're, they're uh, projecting, um, you know, you'd almost have to wait till the following year to ride it, depending on where you are, if you're in a good climate, California or something like that, or here you can ride it year-round, but just got to dodge the rain. But those are a couple of bikes that I wanted to uh, let you guys know about. as I cruise around here on my Lyric Graffiti. So I will leave a link, like I say, for the Meta Beast and the Meta Beast X, both in the uh, descriptions. So you can go have a look for yourself. But uh, these would be interesting to keep an eye on. For sure. You do not have to uh, register the uh, Meta Beast I don't know about the other bike, but the Meta Beast uh, did not say, it said it, that you didn't have to register it or license it. But I don't know how much uh, road riding you'd be able to do with that. I mean, that's more of an off-road bike in my opinion, but... The Saran also is a, more of an off-road bike and uh, that's getting ridden by a lot of people on the road. This is a real comparable, in my opinion, to the uh, Saran and I think the uh, low-end price of the Saran is about 4500 last I checked. So um, that would be the same price as the MSRP of this bike. So, so it might be... Uh, it might be one to give uh, Saran a run for its money. All right, that's gonna do it for another video here on the channel. If you have a comment to make on this uh, video, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just go ahead and hit that notification bell and you'll be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel. Once again, thank you for coming along on this ride and until next time take care